Hey, what's going on, Climber Nation? Trying out a, a bit of a different format here. <clears throat> I'm going to be showing you helmet cam footage. Yep. Oh, it's Senna. No. And then just talking over it, just to try and explain things. It's like, I'm just saying, my heart out there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do I uh, do I have a line like that way for a tag, from for this guy, yeah. right over there? In a minute, I'm gonna drop this one first. Yeah. So anyway, I'm up in this big oak. It's a it's a two stem oak. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna take the one top first. So it's a two stem oak, and there's another climber in the other stem. His name is Dustin. Um, this is footage from my last video, uh, Real Tree Work, Volume 4. But that video was a ton of editing, so there was there was other good stuff in there. Nice. Sweet. I'm in pairing mode. So yeah, like there was other good stuff in there that I didn't get to show. Like most of it, I didn't get to show. Uh, in a minute, let me cut one more. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to take these two big tops and we're going to leave the third one so that we can drop the rest of the tree all in one shot. But for, so the, you just saw the first top there, I could just drop it, no problem. Uh, and then I'm going to take another little stick in between here. But then for the third top, uh, I want to pull it to the side it's hard to tell in in helmet cam videos and in videos in general it's really hard to tell like relative distance and angles almost impossible to tell but uh so the second big top that i'm gonna do has a lean the wrong way and i want to pull it the opposite way so what i'm trying to do is is just set up uh what we call a tagline okay i'm gonna throw down my rope there okay so what I need to establish is that I have the angle and that the people on the ground um, have the angle that they that I need that they can pull the rope in the correct angle and in, in, in the right direction that I need right so what I'm gonna do to set this up to start with I have two options I can either do what I'm doing here which is pulling up my line and then throwing it down through the path that I want the tagline to take or I could have got them to tie on the entire bag with the tagline in it. Clear. Right, so I'm throwing down my rope through that path. Or I, or I could have pulled up the whole bag, tied it on, and then thrown the bag out <coughs> along that path, right? So there's two options. Either way, I need a, a clear path straight from the ground for the tag to run from the ground all the way up to the piece that I'm pulling so that I can it can be pulled in you know the yep. proper direction right okay so I threw down my rope they tied a tag on and now I'm pulling it back up to myself okay so there's the tag I'm gonna pop it off I'm gonna tie a quick slip knot and just snap it onto myself and then I'm gonna pull the rest of my climbing line back up and down so that my climbing line is not in that path of the tag line where that top is actually going to go I want to keep my rope out of that mess out of that path as much as I can so I pulled it back up and down okay so that's my basic setup I'm gonna go up the second top with the tagline right and then uh, I'm gonna set the tagline in that top and then I'm gonna come back down I'm gonna check the pull that they have on the ground just to verify and then I'm gonna make my cut okay so that's basically what, what we're gonna see here in real time and I'm just gonna watch it with you guys and, and try and talk through what I'm doing and, and explain it right so this video is not for professionals at all right this is for someone who's learning you know someone who's green can hopefully get value out of something like this obviously if you're a professional you're, well you're not even going to watch this because 
it would be boring like <laughs> you know what I mean and it was really boring uh, before I put you know me talking directly to you as I watch this if it was just helmet cam you know it's kind of long and drawn out and boring right so I'm climbing up the second top here and I'm trimming off all the little <clears throat> branches and suckers as I go Okay, and that's probably high enough there that I'm going to be able to throw that tagline up and over. I'm just cutting out some of the small stuff that's going to be in my way to throw the rope. There's one. Yeah, there it is. So that one was really in my way. I, was, I would have struggled to throw the, uh, the tagline up. Okay, so now I'm ready to do my tagline. I'm going to pop it off. I'm going to tie a noose which is my favorite uh, throwing knot. I love the noose because if, if it gets stuck, you can pull it and it will untie itself and you can get the rope back to you. So first of all, there's another stub there, but it's dead. So I just use the, the noose to knock it off. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm pulling up slack. Try and throw it through that crotch there. And I'm just gonna try and throw the noose through that crotch. Right. Hit the twigs. So the first time there, it hit some twigs. Second throw, I got it. Okay, and then I'm just going to flick a few times. So I'm throwing slack through that crotch. <coughs> and now I have to retrieve the other end of that line. So I'll just use my handsaw there. A lot of people cringe when they see me do this. It's totally fine as long as you're not pulling against any tension in the line. If there was any tension, then you can damage your rope for sure, obviously. But I use my handsaw like all the time to as an extra. It gives me an extra like 14 inches or whatever of of reach. When someone's trying to flick a rope to me, it's it's really helpful. Anyway, so what I've done right. here, what I've done here is that should work. I could have done like a runner up to the crotch, but instead it's Get faster for me in this case. Pull her that way. Let me see the angle you got. I want to go this way. Yeah. Right, so I'm really checking the angle. The angle matters a lot. Anytime I'm pulling a top with a tagline, I need to get the correct angle. And if I can't get that angle from the ground, then I'm going to have to come up with a different plan. But what I was saying is the rope goes through the crotch down and then it's tied well, below it. I'm trying to keep it out of this thing, this basswood. Exactly. Yeah. Even just straight behind Calvin there, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I'm just trying to pull it off this basswood. So I'm just communicating with the guys on the ground, just letting them know what I'm doing and why. Um, we're in the woods, we're at a scout camp, working in the woods, but we're trying to save right as much of the other stuff as we can that's around us and underneath this tree. So this second top, it's hard, again, it's hard to tell, but it's leaning towards this other basswood tree. So I'm, let I me wanna, see a pull. I want to keep it out of there. Oh, okay. Just so let I'm me just, see a little bit. I'm just verifying. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, so I'm verifying with the ground crew that they have A <laughs> that that they have the angle that I need and B Not too much now, boys. And B that they have enough pull. They were pulling a little excessive there <laughs> for my liking. Uh, so anytime you're using a tag, it's super important that you pull hard enough to get the job done but not too hard that you cause other problems, right? <coughs> like uh, like barber chair there is a go. classic. You can cause a barber I'm chair just by just try and pulling too hard. This one, this way. Just try and keep it out of this okay. little guy here. Try and do like a tapered hinge. Yep. All right, so there's the other guy in the other stem there. Dustin in the orange. 
Hey bro, <laughs> putting you on the gram. <laughs> Bit of silliness for you. But I was waiting for the guys on the ground to clean up what was already down. All right. All right, so they just gave me the go ahead. They have the angle and they have enough pull. We've, we've double checked yeah, that stuff. Yeah, we're gonna come through here. We don't have helmet comms with all these people. So we're just doing audibles. All right, and then I'm gonna take this top. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that's good. Yep. <clears throat> so again, they're tensioning the line. They need to pull hard enough, but not too hard. All right, back cut. And there you go. So we nailed it. Yo! <laughs> Little celebration there. All right, so uh, I hope that makes sense. And uh, yep. let, let me know what you think of this, this format. Uh, let me know if this is helpful. I have like a bazillion videos that I could do this with. Just talk over helmet cam footage. Alright, so uh, thank you for watching. Later. Later, bro.